Okay, so Holy Spirit, help us with this information and help us to be doing your will. Um, so there are fake Christians um, teaching to follow the beast system. Some of them are teaching to not speak out against the, the New World Order or anything like that. Um, teaching people to get the mark of the beast even. I couldn't believe it whenever I found out a famous pastor, which I don't call anyone pastors anymore, just brothers and sisters in Christ, um, because only Jesus is my high priest. Um, he's my teacher too, because the Holy Spirit teaches, and I need no teacher, and the Word of God is Jesus, so he teaches me. But they, they are being taught to follow the beast system. They're being taught to that all ways lead to heaven. They're being taught uh, man's way and not God's way. Jesus said, call, call no man rabbi, which means teacher. And I think I said that before. These people are trendsetters, Masonic merchants, sorcerers, using magic, tr putting people in trances, hand signs to make um, merchandise of God's people. They're soothsayers, like I was talking earlier. Um, if you have the Holy Spirit, you have no need that man te any any man teach you, you know. Um, but they're following Babylon, the ways of Babylon, and um, Babylon, like I showed, the mother god and child, they follow the egg goddess. You know, these are Jesuit masons. Um, they believe that that being born of a woman. You're, that's the mother, and then the child is the child, us. But they're really worshiping the egg goddess of Babylon. If you research uh, Catholicism and all of that, you'll find it. It's in all the isms. <laughs> okay, so back to the judging. Um, the words Jesus has spoken will judge them on the last day. The word is spirit and life. Dis and the, the sword of the spirit is a discerner of the, men, the hearts of man. Okay, so it's discerning how our heart, because he's after that land, our heart. Because we had a stony heart, Jesus gives us a heart of flesh. And versus the judgment of the 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 what do you call it, the accuser of the brethren, the one that condemns, the one that is like a policeman or a judge that um, judges uh, wicked way, wickedly and is has unbalanced, uh, the, the, their scales, according to Revelation, are unjust, and their, their scales are, are tipped in their favor. The Masons and Jesuits have scales, but their scales are out of balance, okay? They need to recalibrate their scales. But God sees everything they do, okay? Let's just remember some one thing. God sees everything they think, everything they do, and their blood is a recording of their life. And they think they're doing things in hidden, secret places? Uh-uh. God sees all things, and all of his angels see it too, and the fallen angels. So there's many witnesses, a cloud of witnesses. And God's sending his Holy Spirit-filled people into those dark places, and we're seeing what they're doing. Yep, we are. And the eyes are the window of the soul. When you have the Holy Spirit in your belly, God sees through our eyes. So... The words of God judge them because the words are spirit and life and holiness. God is holy, okay? If they reject Jesus, they do not have the Holy Spirit. They are being judged by the fire, the words of God. And the fire will consume all of his enemies. It's round about his throne because he's holy and they're not. And their darkness will flee. The serpents because when, when he comes, you know, he's holy. And your darkness will be exposed, plain and simple. It's just you'll be naked in front of the king of glory. Um, not because he makes you naked, because your works make you naked. naked. 
and they judge with unrighteous judgment. It says, for in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the, the measure you use, it will be measured to you. So treat others as you would like to be treated, but they treat them wickedly. Wickedly, for with the same judgment you pronounce, you will be judged, and the same measure and the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but fail to notice the beam in your own eye? As your your as your sword has made women childless, that's the Masons. They cut the child out of the bellies. So shall your or Jesuits, both of them. So shall your mother be childless among women. And Samuel Hugh, da 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 da. All right, he also loved cursing, so it came to him, and he did not delight in blessing, so it was far from him. Woe to you, O destroyer, while you were not destroyed, and he who is treacherous, while others did not deal treacherously with him. As soon as you finish destroying, you will be destroyed. As soon as you cease to deal treacherously, others will deal treacher treacherously with you. Therefore, thus says the Lord, you have not obeyed me in proclaiming release each man to his brother and each man to his neighbor. Behold, I am proclaiming a release to you, declares the Lord, to the sword, to the pestilence, and to the famine, and I will make you a terror to all the kingdoms of the earth. Hmm, wonder which one this is. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Now those who are my enemies, I have prayed a blessing over them. I have prayed that God would release them from the bondage. Unfortunately, they they will give an account for their life, just like all of us will, to the Heavenly Father. And if they do not repent of their works and turn and do righteous works, um, they will have to pay for their own sin if they do not receive Jesus all right, as their Lord and Savior and believe on the Son of, of God. Uh, their works follow them. Um, I told Father, I forgive him for using me, abusing me, for poisoning me, for, you know, all the things that they've done to me. And if they want all that stuff, they can have it. If they want my money, they can have it. They've taken what wasn't theirs from my Indian tribes and stuff. But I've told the Lord, you know, I forgive them. Um, and that's the light. Jesus said, forgive them, for they know, know not what they do as they were killing him. I don't hate Jesuits and Masons. I am called by the light to expose the darkness. Jesus is the light. So, um, let's see. So that's forgiveness. So, for with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. And with what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. Uh, what else do we need to say, Holy Spirit? Um, and and understand that the fire that the Jesuits and Masons bring, they think that they're doing the will of God, but they're not doing. They're doing the will of the, the Antichrist. This is the spirit. For with the judgment that you ju you judge, you will be judged, and with the measure that you use, it will be measured to you. And they believe that they are assigned to do these things. Um, they're misled. They're misguided. Okay, They're sick. They need a doctor. Jesus is the good physician. <laughs> He's the one that you need. And if you're a Christian, a true Holy Spirit-filled Christian, you're to be binding these serpents. You're to be subduing the enemy and, and um, binding them and releasing the Holy Spirit and the truth in the land. You should be speaking life. Um, to be telling people to repent, turn to Jesus, believe in the gospel. Um, that is a commission of the Lord Jesus. And if you have the love of the world and things in the world in your heart, the love of the Father is not in you, It says, Jesus has said, the word of God says. So repent, you know, because those things are direct commandments. And we are at the end whenever he starts, uh, the word of God comes in, and by the word of God he wins the war against the darkness, against the dark army. Um, what was I supposed to say also? He says that I will rem render to Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Ch Chaldea. Okay, so Chaldea is a... 
uh, Church of the Roman Empire, the Roman Catholicism, Chaldea. They, if you research, I think there's a Chaldean Catholic Church. For the day of the Lord is near on all the heathen, uh, as you have done. Da, da, da. So, a lot of people have discerned that um, whenever they say, give to him what they have done, and da da da. Um, remember, God does not return evil for evil. That's what Jesus said. All right. So the judgment that comes, it's coming from the weapons of his indignation, which is not him doing it. It's their evil that comes back on them. It's, it's really hard. hard it's, no, it's not hard to describe it's basically what Jesus said when they were trying to stone the woman. Um, okay, so they were stoning the woman for, adul for adultery. But Jesus pulled her out and said, Be holy, for I am holy. Go and sin no more. The men that had the stones, they dropped them when he wrote in the sand. What do you think he wrote in the sand? I think he wrote in the sand their sin because they were judging another person but then the word of god came and the word judged them the word the spirit and life god's law of the spirit of how we're to treat other people um it is the way that he judged they were judging her and they were more wicked than her most likely or they had sin and, and god said you know he with no sin cast the first stone since we all are guilty before a holy god meaning that we have no right to judge a brother or sister or to condemn them they were condemning her to death they had discerned that she should die that she was the harlot and she should die I don't think anybody should die, but everybody should come to the love of the truth. The Lord Jesus Christ is the truth. And I hope everybody turns to him. So, don't condemn anybody. Discern correctly, whether it's of God or not. And expose the lies of the enemy so that people will turn away from them to Jesus. And that's righteous judgment.